When I first started climbing, I was so bad. I was so terrible, so slow, I'd tear my skin up all the time. And I was like, how the heck are we gonna go and do Mount Kilimanjaro? Three words, I don't know. Those three words, three of the most important words in my life. All discoveries happen from I don't know. My name is Kyle Maynard, and I have an extremely hard time saying what it is exactly that I do. I've been an athlete my entire life. Football, to wrestling, to weightlifting, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and now most recently taking on climbing some of the highest mountains in the world. I was born with congenital amputation, so it basically means my arms end at the elbows, my legs end at the knees. You know, I think some people, they, they look at me and, and maybe even feel sorry for me, but really, truthfully, my life doesn't look a whole lot different than yours. You know, I type on my computer the same way. You know, I use my phone just like anybody else. I'm on Bumble like anybody, any other single person my age. We got a match. My first experience with climbing really anything of significance was in a CrossFit competition in 2010. The first workout was you had to do a thousand meter row in this rowing machine and a sprint up Stone Mountain. Everybody else did it in maybe 25 minutes. It took me an hour and 46 minutes. I tore all the skin up on my arms, but I got to the top and I was like, wow, this is breathtakingly beautiful. And I told my friend that night, I said, I want to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can't, but I do know that I want to try to figure it out. I want to go and find a way and, and get up there. There were a ton of challenges with getting into climbing, and uh, the biggest one was the gear. I literally started with bath towels duct taped to my arms and my feet. I couldn't go to the store and buy a typical pair of shoes. We had to come up with a unique solution. Now to climb, I use a uh, carbon fiber special custom shoe. I use those to bear crawl up Kilimanjaro. Then me and my team, we took on climbing Mount Aconcagua, the highest peak in South America. I felt my body was like in full shutdown mode. And it was brutal at moments, but it was breathtakingly beautiful. At the top of that mountain, you know, you can almost kind of make out and see like the curvature of the earth. I mean, it was just a moment I'll never forget. The reasons I climb aren't that different from other people. 95% of it does suck. I'm staring at the dirt. I'm not even able to go and talk to my friends and see the beautiful views unless I stop and sit down and look. But that 5% that doesn't suck, it's amazing. Getting into a place that there's no way my wheelchair could have brought me there, that's what I love. I'm not trying to live to be a thousand. Like I want to, I want to go out there and have my life mean something. When I've gotten down and I've looked at the mountain and I see what we've achieved, it's like, wow, maybe that was a really bad idea that we were there, but it was beautiful. <laughs>